The ocean as far as the eye can see, white sandy beaches including one of the nicest in all of Asia, no less, and a journey into the Zen culture Japan is famous for around the globe sounds exactly like the kind of mindfulness retreat the world needs more of right now. That's right, today on Experience Fukui, we venture out to the picturesque seaside town of Takahama, located a two-hour car or train ride away from the world-famous cities of Kyoto and Osaka. This little paradise on earth by the Sea of Japan offers the perfect setting for some relaxation and a little outdoor fun. The whole of Fukui Prefecture is known for its long-standing tradition of Zen Buddhism, and Takahama is no exception. The small fishing town is the birthplace of Soen Shaku, the first Zen Buddhist master to have introduced the discipline to Westerners, and is therefore full of opportunities to reconnect with yourself through activities such as tea ceremony, Japanese calligraphy, and Zen meditation. Today, we've come to the local Daijoji temple to give Zen meditation a try and experience for ourselves this centuries-old mindfulness practice now popular across the whole world. Anyone interested in Zen culture, regardless of knowledge or experience, is more than welcome here. A 10-minute drive from the temple will take you to Mount Aoba, nicknamed the region's own Mount Fuji, which can be seen from nearly anywhere in town. The sacred mountain, dotted with shrines and temples, attracts pilgrims and hikers throughout the year. At its foot stands the charming Herbal Village, a peaceful retreat where visitors can take a leisurely stroll through the garden and enjoy a nice little picnic, all the while learning all about the more than 500 kinds of medicinal herbs that naturally grow on the mountain. The on-site cafe also offers some healthy food inspired by traditional Chinese medicine and a fun workshop in which you can try making your own unique blend of herbal tea. Besides Zen meditation and Chinese medicine, mindfulness can also be achieved through moderate physical activity and quality time spent in nature, or so I hear. So next up on our itinerary is a little hike up Mount Aoba itself. The nearly 700 meter tall mountain may seem like quite the challenge for a beginner like me at first, but there are various hiking trails to choose from and the view you get from up there is well worth it. The breathtaking sight of the sun setting over Mount Aoba, as seen from downtown Takahama, is so great it was even selected as one of the top 100 sunsets in Japan. After the climb, we head over to the nice little inn we'll be spending the night at, a perfect ending to this fun day of contemplation and exploration of the great outdoors. Staying at a Ryokan traditional inn is the best way to make the most of your time in Japan, as here you can experience to its fullest the hospitality the country is famous for, as well as try some new things you didn't know you needed in your life. A glorious setting in the middle of the Japanese countryside, hot baths, some communal, some private, and the most lavish meals are just a few of the reasons why visitors keep coming back for more year after year. The whole region of Wakasa in the south of Fukui boasts a rich culinary culture going back hundreds of years. The fish caught in Takahama has long been prized around the nation and was even used as offerings to the imperial courts of Nara and Kyoto. I wouldn't expect any less from the actual birthplace of sushi. In the colder season, in addition to the Echizen Gani snow crabs the prefecture is famous for, local eateries and hotels will offer a southern Fukui favorite, Wakasa Fugu. You might have heard of fugu, or blowfish, a species famous around the world for being so poisonous, the slightest mistake in its preparation could be fatal. No need to worry, however. Only trained chefs can offer the Japanese delicacy. Grilled, fried as tempura, lightly boiled or served as tessa, very thin slices of raw fish. The possibilities are endless when it comes to wakasa fugu. 
In the summer, shellfish and abalone, as well as wakasa guji red tilefish, original specialty available throughout the year, will leave you asking for seconds. That's it for today's exploration of the idyllic seaside town of Takahama, a natural haven of Zen Buddhism, crystal clear water, and white sandy beaches. Speaking of which, don't miss day two of our trip for more travel ideas and local tips about this hidden gem of central Japan. Out soon on Experience Fukui. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon!